My name is Lindsay. I'm going to talk about how sex and marriage are the same thing. I'm going to try my best because I'm not married. The truth is our bodies speak a language. So anything that I do with my body communicates something. So when I wave, that says something. When I, even my facial expressions, if I don't look happy or I do, People can see that through the language that I'm communicating through the body. John Paul II in The Theology of the Body says that the body reveals the person. What does sex communicate? The truth is sex, because of the fact that it is so incredibly bonding to another person, when we have sex, a hormone is released called oxytocin that bonds us to another person. Um, and the fact that it is, can create life from that union, it speaks something. It speaks something permanent. It speaks something exclusive. It speaks something um, that is ordered towards the building up of a, of a family. And because of that, sex and marriage go together. When a couple on their wedding night um, has sex, they are communicating that I want to be with you and only you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. The act with their bodies is the expression of the wedding vows that they make on the altar. This is an act that is bonding two people together uh, in a permanent and exclusive way. And that's why our hearts become broken when we're in a physical relationship, when we're, maybe we're having sex and that relationship ends. There's a real pain and there's a real loss in that. And I want to be really sensitive and mindful of that because not all people will experience sex for the first time on their wedding night. And there's a pain in that and there's a um, some, there's a real healing that is needed in that. But the fact that that might be your experience in the past does not mean that it will be any less good, will be any less beautiful. Sex outside of marriage is a lie with your body because no matter what or no matter who you might be having sex with, your body is still making that same commitment through you know, the biology of your hormones and your brain, the fact that you are saying with your body that I want to be with you and only you. Even if you're engaged or if you're dating or maybe it's a random person that you don't know and you engage in sex, that is speaking an untruth with your body. And our bodies and our souls are one as human beings. So we can't say one thing with our words and intentions and another thing with our body. Chastity brings the two things together in what's called integration. It says, I want to be with you and only you. My words and intentions but also in the act of my body as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos.